，赢赢了，赢了。哦哦，谢谢谢谢。<笑> Hey, so our friend Phil just opened up a brand new boba shop in the 626, and he's actually the first YouTuber we know to have an actual restaurant. And we've always thought about doing something similar to that, but I don't think it's our time yet. So instead, we're just gonna eat everything on the menu and talk with him about what makes Bopo Mall Cafe so unique. Phil has arrived, guys. Phil, I, I could tell his stress levels were. <laughs> we got a line out the door right now. Seven like, out uh, of seven out of ten. Let's, we'll keep, look, let's, let's keep talking, guys. He, he I hasn't am, shaved in four days. <laughs> Come on. Twice. So when Eric and I were, were coming up with the concept of Boca Mofo, we knew that, especially in this area, like we wanted to represent like Asian American, you know, culture, ABC, like you know, that's kind of how we grew up. All right, yo, Jason Cheney is a comedian. I don't I think heard, he is. I, I haven't heard, heard one I, joke I, yet. I, no, when I first saw Boca Mofo, I really thought that you were also a fob. Oh. Because that that's so like Taiwanese to have yeah. Boca Mofo. Like, not, I don't think a Chinese person or like a like an Asian American person would just name it Boca Mofo. We just wanted to bring a little bit of our perspective. I, I feel like if it's someone, an international kid, they might not have the same perspective. All right, everybody, thanks for watching that video. And just as Phil wants to share all his delicious food with everybody, Skillshare wants to share two months free of class classes with you. Skillshare is a huge online teaching community that offers thousands of classes for your creative and entrepreneurial skills. This is something that I'm using right now. Take a class and learn something new from an instructor for as little as $10 a month. That's not a lot of money for something that can add so much value to your life. Such as a photography class to make sure your Instagram photos are on point. A class on styling your space. Graphic design. Starting your own clothing brand, music production, or even indie low budget filmmaking. That's a class I should probably take. There is even an entrepreneurship class that will help turn your skills into profit. So if you're interested at all in trying a two month free trial, just click on the link down below in the description. And that's two months free. And think about it, if you're really about your business, you can get unlimited access to classes with the premium membership. Think of how much knowledge you would have acquired in just that time. All right, so right now, I'm actually gonna sign up for a class with Jeff Staple from Staple Design. He's one of the most respected uh, streetwear designers in the game, and he's actually teaching class on branding and ethos and all that good stuff. So I'm gonna go take it. And uh, anyways, if you guys are interested, make sure you click on that link down below. I mean, even if you guys are interested in looking at the classes, just browse through the classes. You're gonna be amazed by what they offer. So again, click on the link down below for a free two month free trial. All right, thank you everybody, and uh, check out the rest of this video. Yo, you guys, we are sitting down in front of a feast here oh at Bopo Mofo. I'm super excited. I can see the quality. This is the one I'm eyeing. Wait, wait, what comes to mind when you're thinking of Luro nachos with scallion pancakes as the tortilla chips? Dude, I'm so excited. Like, I've never seen... Look at that meat, though. Luro nachos. Dude, I love those scallion chips. That, that's like Taiwan in a mouthful right now. I feel like that's Taiwan meets LA. The Chong Yao Bing chip is my favorite thing about this. You know why? It still has a slight chewiness to it. Oh. Thank you, Jason. <laughs> Damn, bro. That's how I know you're buff. I saw that whole vein from your mm. jaw go down your neck. You were like, ah! We gotta go food, go drink, drink, food, drink. Give me the Come apple you. joint, please. You want the apple joint, David? Okay. Oh, you want the taro? Dude, the taro milk. I feel like a princess. Yeah, this actually milk. really tastes like a like a fall drink. This is taro milk. You have beet I like on it. top. You have milk in the middle, and then you have taro at the bottom. I feel like a soccer mom just did yoga right now. I love it, dude. Mapo tots. They added some heat on that. Mm. Okay, that's interesting. Because usually this dish would come over rice, but now this is coming over a bed of tater tots. What do you, what'd you think, Jason? Good you, had you had never had mapo tofu with cheese on it. Man. Never. I feel like most Taiwanese people, they, they've never had it with cheese or potato. These are potato and tater tots. It's like a perfect fusion for like American and like Taiwanese slash Chinese. I'm still processing it because it's like so different. Like two foods from two different worlds in one. It's just a perfect of both worlds in a mouth. I have the orange wing, which is based off like a orange creamsicle from uh, Orange Julius. The caramacha. So the caramacha and milk, right? Is that all the, yeah. Strawberry, basil, ginger, limeade. Oh, this is refreshing. I like this one. Here's the thing about milk teas and milk drinks, which I, I like them, but when you're eating heavy food, sometimes for me it gets a little heavy. So this drink right here fit perfectly for me. I actually really like this drink, man. It's, it's like, uh, it's better than Orange Julius. I always like, everybody likes matcha. Matcha is like a zen to me, but what, it just has a little hint of the curry juice. It's healthy. You guys start working on that chicken sandwich. One issue that I have with this immediately, guys, is that it's white meat. 
Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Hold on, hold on. Yeah, it is, it is. But don't jinx it. You have the bolo bun, you have the Hong Kong Cantonese bakery elements on top. But Taiwanese people made it better for sure. Hold on, but anyways, <laughs> wow. don't skip that. Hold on, I believe 85C copied the Hong Kong bakeries first. I feel like <laughs> if it was dark meat, everything together would be a little bit too rich. You, you're not, you're not. <laughs> oh, oh, she's here, she's here. <laughs> Dude, Phil is like 10% Taiwanese mom. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, Taiwanese yeah. got strong moms. No, no, strong moms. We got some strong Dude, moms. the Taiwan moms, legendary, legendary mothers. I love this, the Napa cabbage slaw. Like, you don't really get a lot of Napa cabbage slaw. Obviously, I like the bolo bao on top. It adds a little bit of sweetness. Um, overall, I thought it came together really well. Dude, I have never seen this in my life. This sandwich is kind of like the Mayer May. Mayer May is like a chain of like uh, sandwich shops in Taiwan. Okay. And it's really simple. Inside, it's either like an egg or like a sausage or like a potato salad. They're not right? fancy sandwich. Not some fancy sandwich, but they're good. So you're saying this is peanut butter and beef. Oh yeah. All right, egg slice, mayonnaise, cucumber, and cheese. This is like three sandwiches in one. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Let's do it. That peanut butter has a whole new level. I gotta say, guys, this these is, are multifaceted sandwiches. This is Mayer May's whole whole store in one sandwich. The, dude, I had Mayer May every morning for like ten years. That's yeah. that's all I ate. Yeah, for ten years. And and I just feel like he's packing all of Taiwan in one thing. I've never even had a Mayer May sandwich. Yeah. So to, for you to bring that reference in. Mm. Is exactly why you're here. You gotta put the May RMA down. Put it, put it down, Jason. Move my mouth, move my mouth. We are on to the popcorn chicken. You know, it's different than other popcorn chickens. You know what I didn't like about the traditional popcorn chicken spots? They would just give you sweet and sour sauce to dip it in. I like how this Thai basil has this cooling effect. I like how this has a cooling effect when you eat the popcorn chicken. When I grew up in Taiwan, I eat a lot of like yeah, si, night market, you know, popcorn chicken, and they use a little bit more breading. I think it's a little more salty and more peppery. The, you know, the oil that they use in Taiwan, it's so bad. It's like refried oil, but it's so good. But I think over here, <laughs> but I think over here they try to make it a little more healthy, which is great. This you is mean it doesn't chicken. taste like a night market? Not like a <laughs> night market. No, I feel like this film, this has got to be hotly debated. Yeah. Because you could make this way more. Yeah guilty than, than you do. This is almost like some guilt-free popcorn chicken. I mean, it's at the end of the day, it's still like fried chicken, but um, I, traditionally, I feel like most people do is uh, dark meat, right? Mm. And so we actually do get comments of like, oh, you, like, you guys should do a dark meat version. I just personally like white meat. All right, you guys, we have arrived at the end. This was a fascinating experience, eating it with an authentic Taiwanese person from Taiwan. All of the ingredients and the taste, it's pretty much really traditional, like from Taiwan, and mixed with like Western culture. I, I, I wanna say my favorite thing was the duro, the mapo tofu, but without the tater tots, without the, what was that, scallion chips. Scall 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 chips. But seriously, at the, everything together is a new thing. And I feel like sometimes you eat something, the more you eat it, the, the more appreciation you, appreciation you have for the food. And uh, yeah, I mean, I love it. I would say the tots, to me, the mapo tots, shout out to Phil's creation was actually, was better than I thought. I, I just wanted to keep eating it. My favorite, I will go for the uh, mofo club. I thought, uh, you know, for such a laborious item, I give them credit. I saw them make it, has a lot of different elements. I love the scallion egg that they have in it because I love scallions. I give, I give it. Whoa. What? A 4.5 out of 5. Oh! Easily. I, I and the wrong. only reason I give it a not a 5 out of 5 is because I always think, and this may be a Taiwanese thing, even though I'm not Taiwanese, there's always room for improvement. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, everybody, that wraps up our episode on Ball Paul Mall Fall. But shout out to Jason Chenny. Shout out to Phil. Give this video a big thumbs up. And guys, just to let you know, we have a new podcast that has just dropped called the Adrian Podcast. Check it out. Here's a link right there. In the comments down below, let us know another dish that Ball Paul Mall Fall should serve. You guys come up with it. To the best comment, we will be sending out a $25 Amazon gift card to you. So when you leave a comment, definitely leave your Instagram handle down below so that we can message you. Again, shout out to Jason Chenny. Shout out to Ball Paul Mall Cafe. You got to check it out. And until next time, we out. Peace. Peace.
Yo, what's going on, everybody? Just want to let you know we do have a brand new podcast called the A3N Podcast. We're talking about all types of stuff. We're going to have all types of guests on the show. Obviously, if it's me and David, we're going to get really deep and personal and real. Also, we have a highlights channel. If you guys don't want to listen to the whole entire podcast, there's going to be like the highlight clips there that you guys can just check out. Check out the podcast on iTunes, Spotify, Himalaya, A3N Podcast. Leave us a review and a like. And listen to it. Peace. Peace.